Buenos Dias Gunners Collective. Back at it. You already know. Like a motherfucking smack at it. Yay, yay. <laughs> and in this fashion. I'm not on the outside looking in. Watch out. I'm actually on the inside looking out. Looking out to the world in a manual style in a direct fashion. Let's talk about it. As you can tell by that thumbnail right there. Monstruos. Straight up fucking despicable. Hideous. Vile degenerate ass monsters right and what happens when these type of individuals go to prison hit them yardas get behind them walls get behind that fucking barbed wire what do they do who can you run to who do they run to right i'm gonna tell you there ain't really too many people they can run to because of the things that they've done in a heinous nature now of course this being YouTube, we can't get into the intricate details, and I wouldn't even want to put it out there into some of the despicable acts these fucking type of people do. If you could call them that, I call them monstruos, you know, monsters. Um, but let's get into it. Of course, we all know about the case that happened a couple years ago. Uh, one Pearl Fernandez, her old man, the fucking big old fat fucking baboso himself, and what they did to the little kid, you know, her son. Um, and, that, and that right there, without getting into too much detail, was one of the most horrendous things I've ever heard of, i ever seen, i seen pictures, um, thumbs get, and in that fashion, right? Makes motherfuckers want to go menudo style directly, um, but it happens, you know, it happens daily, it's probably happening right now, I hate to think about it, I hate to really speak on it and say that it's happening, but quietly as it's kept at the end of the day, man, um, a lot of shit is happening in this world. This world is not everything we think it's cracked up to be. You know, never see everything for the surface. Look behind the wall. Pay no attention to the man. No, sometimes we have to pay attention because there's some weird shit going on back there. And that's, it's up to us as a raza and as a person, you know what I mean? To make sure that the kids are safe. But trip. So we know about their case. We know how they got caught up. We know that fucking Pearl Fernandez went to a woman's facility. And from what I've heard from personal friends and personal familia members that are incarcerated, you know, it ain't no fun if the homegirls can't have none. They're making it bad for her. You know, they're making it dangerous. They're making it a little bit of an obstacle for her to daily function and to function daily. And and, and that's understandable. That's how it goes. As far as the Baoso. I don't know what's really going on with him. I'm sure he's getting everything he needs to get. Now, I understand he's probably in a SMY yard, PC'd up, chilling over there with fucking whoever he's chilling with, um, having it his way, like Burger King. Um, at the end of the day, his day will come, and uh, it's going to happen. It's going to, don't, don't fight it. Don't fight it. I want you to co-sign it. It's going to happen, okay? And what's going to happen? Well, let me give you the details on what happens to individuals like this and several others. Um, first of all, if they get incarcerated for a heinous act against a child, it's it's done. I don't care if you're a fucking Norteño, a Sureño, a Kumi, a Jama, a fucking wood, a skin, uh, whatever the case may be, you could be the most high-powered individual in the world, have the most glecha, have the most, uh, uh, what do you call it, people are loyal to you, you got the, you're the man, what does that get? I'm the man with the master plan, the one with the motherfucking gun in his hand. Nah, okay, that's all cool. But the moment you decide to overstep that boundary and to do something to a child, you know, or do something to anybody that can't fight for themselves, old people, women, children, things of that nature, um, you're going to be looked at differently, quite differently, and in that fashion. What's going to happen is this. First of all, if you don't think the placas are not knowing and that they're all, it's all good. No, don't trip. We're going to protect you. Well, you got another thing coming. Just like us as grown men, ex-convicts or convicts at the time, um, these placas ain't feeling that either. There's a lot of them that have children at home. There's a lot of them that have familias, uh, mothers, wives, sisters, brothers. Oh my, even a fucking brother is probably a transgender that fucking once was in vacuum. I don't know. I can't call it. But at the end of the day, they're going to feel some type of way. You know, so this is what happens. Let me give you the lowdown for those fucking weirdos that are contemplating shit. I hope you guys are watching this. Bella fools. Trip. You're going to go into prison, right? You're going to get convicted. Now, should the sentences be harsher? I think they should put them all on Gilligan's Island and light it on a fire. The skipper to the millionaire on his wife, right? I think they should burn that whole motherfucker down. But at the same time, that's probably what's not going to happen. They're going to give him a little sentence. You know, depending upon the crime and what happened, if, if there, you know, someone is deceased or if they just touched someone or whatever, whatever, you know, we're not going to get into detail. I don't even like thinking about that shit. It gets me asco, makes me want to throw up, but, um, they're going to get incarcerated. And what's going to happen is the blackers are going to know who they are. 
everybody is going to know who they are. And if we don't know who they are at that time, oh, you didn't know, right? It's only a matter of time before the placas are going to tell somebody, watch on, the vatos are chiruhu right here. Okay, it's okay. He likes to suck people. That's on him. You know what I mean? So, guy, I don't, I don't get down like that. No, not like that, but, but he does it too, you know. The little one, what the fuck? You know what I mean? And in that fashion, no, no, I don't even know about that fashion. You know what I mean? What kind of fashion is that? Not, not my fashion, not my fashion either. I'm just saying what I said too, right? This is how the conversation goes. Um, back and forth, tit for tat, but of this like-mindedness, of the same uh, uh, thought process, meaning this guy got to go. This guy cannot be here on this yard, okay? For the most part, the administration already knows they're going to PC these guys up directly or these women or they're going to put them on soft yards because uh, these has got a soft shoe chrono like a motherfucker, right? They're going to put them somewhere soft. But every once in a while, someone's able to wiggle through the cracks and hit a linea, hit GP. And yeah, <clears throat> oh yes, there will be hominy. It gets ugly in a menudo style. What's going to happen is they're going to get to these yardas. And of course, just like anyone else, man, they're going to get asked for their five on five to the seven on seven paperwork, discoveries, things of that nature, lack of orders, whatever the case may be, depending on where you get put. And people will discover you. Of course, there's going to be an actual and factual check on you, a background check, and it's going to come to light. Guess what? The cream rises to the top. <sighs> Blow it off. Sometimes it doesn't taste good. And in this case, we all know fucking, it, like I said, it'll get you asco. Um, so you're going to get found out, but the placas quietly as it's kept, they're going to make sure that it happens. They're going to further the process along. They're going to hit you with the speedy trial. I thought it's okay. I thought did that. Right. And, uh, you're going to know what's up. So of course, quietly as it's kept, I'm going to tell you guys straight up, you are, you will be removed. You will be light flighted. You will be put on a gurney. You will not walk off that yard. If you're able to walk, the next time we see you, you won't. That's it. You'll be active in your fine. Yeah, I guarantee you'll be rolling. You know what I mean? We see you rolling. We ain't hating. I'm telling you, homes, we're going to catch you riding dirty. You feel me? Um, or do you ride dirty? But this is what happens to these people that catch these kind of cases. Is it deserving? You know, well, here's my perspective on it. Here's my take on it. Indubitably. Word of the day. Indubitably, it's deserving. Any grown man, any grown woman that takes advantage of a child or takes advantage of someone older than him doesn't need to be here amongst us, okay? We're all people, okay? We're all people that can defend ourselves. We're all people that got voices to be heard. We're all people who's striving to just fucking live another day, okay? But the children depend on us as parents, as fucking uh, role models, as anybody. So if I see a kid wandering in the middle of the street, I'm going to say, hey, you all right? You know, now because my mom's in there with Tyrone. You know what I mean? Your mom's in there with Tyrone. You know what I mean? I'm going to knock on the door. I'm going to kick out Tyrone. I'm going to get him my moon and then I'm gone, right? But I'm going to make sure the kid is watching SpongeBob. It's all good in the hood. This is how the get down is. Um, you're going to look out because it's human nature to look out for the weak. Look out for the people that can't defend themselves. At least that's the way I was taught. That's the way I was laced up. But these motherfuckers, they get incarcerated home thinking, you know, and they get, it's a vicious cycle. It's a, it's a disease in their head. They keep repeat, 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 you know, round and round and round and round. They keep going round and round. You know, they got you go in circles. It's ugly. You know, these people need to go. There should not be no fucking round and round. It should be rock, done. You're done at the rock. You know what I mean? Get out of here. See you later. Um... But it happens, you know, it, it is happening more frequently nowadays. You know, I don't know what's in this fucking awa, but uh, whatever it is, it's a lot of added preservatives, so I get, um, because it ain't like it used to be. There's always been weirdos, but oh my goodness, oh my, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're weirdos now. Oh boy, it's bad, but trip. So you got people that get incarcerated and that's basically what's going to happen to them. They're monsters. They're going to get there. They're going to get what they got coming. Now, I have seen instances, and I'm going to tell you a story about people that were able to wiggle. You know, I was in the Merced County Jail. I was on the block, active Norteño block, and it was all good in the hood. And I remember there was a vato there from Oakland. He was from Oakland. He was a homeboy. He was righteous. He was already cleared when I got there. So I fell right into the groove. Of course, I get in the cell. I become the cell security. We have fucking uh, eight-man cells on our block, and we designate a cell security. Basically, he's the one running the pod or running the cell per Norteño cell, right? So, of course, I get laced up. I'm an hermano at this time or en soldado, whatever you want to call it. I slide right in. I take over the cell security job. 
He's a little bit older than me. I could tell he's all sleeved down, that he's with the business. Of course, he's doing everything he has to do. He's busting down like a beast. He's fucking conducting himself with professionalism. It's all good in the hood. I'm not questioning him because, like I said, he was already cleared when I got there. In fact, he was part of the clearance process with me. So who am I to question him? So get the embracement was real canalismo. It's all love. And we ended up doing a few months together right there. And it was never no hesitation. It was always love. And I remember everybody used to have their own court cases. This is county. You know, everyone's going to court. Everyone's doing their thing. And I remember he used to go to court quite frequently. And I thought, okay, see, he's fighting a fucking big case or whatever the case. I never got, I never asked him. Okay, there was, it was never my place to ask him. Like I said, he was already cleared when I got there. It was already all good. I figured the fucking boss so already knew what time it was. Um, but I guess they didn't. Because what happens is I end up, you know, I end up catching my case. I end up fucking taking my time, taking my deal and wiggling out there to Tracy, to DVI. And I get to DVI and I'm chilling with the homeboy Cisco, the Sunny Bell. He's my celly. I'm lacing him up. He's lacing me up with a little bit of game. The education is real. We got the homeboy Blast from Sanjo next door. Sa, sa, sa. All right, little Blast. Hey, what's up, big gun? Bang, bang. And it's all good, man. The communication is real. And I'm doing my thing. You know, I'm part of the COC and, and I'm programming. You know, I'm functioning as an active Norteño on this tier, doing exactly what it is I'm supposed to do for the household. Period. Um, no weird shit. No cap and no, no fucking frivolous shit. So we're doing our thing. And I remember the homeboy gets newspapers, you know, and I'll fucking come across a paper, bro. And there's the bottle looking like this. You know what I mean? Looking all weird. Just looks like a fucking cheeto who just looks like he did something strange for a little piece of change, right? I'm trying to see what that'd be like, right? I'm like, what the fuck? And I look at this article and he was in there for some weird shit with the minor girl, right? I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy because I broke bread, like Jesus said, right there with that cat, you know? Um, kicked it amongst vermin. Kick it amongst filth. That's trash. That's basura. That's what I consider cagada. Mierda. You know what I mean? And I kicked it right there with them, not knowing. And I felt bad for all the homies that were functioning. Like I said, he was carrying himself for perfect. You wouldn't even know. Him. But the uh, fuck, his filth was discovered. He was Fugazi. What the? How you know about Fugazi? Just got to know about Fugazi, right? He was Fugazi. He was fake. All that was an act he was putting on for the self-preservation of himself, for his self-security. Now, I understand the situation. He was trying to secure himself. But at the same time, I read this article and he got convicted on this case. So the whole time I'm sitting in there, he's fighting one of these cases. And all the homies are, ding dong, the homies down, the homies down. Nah, the homies a clown. Real shit. You know, and guess what? Saz, homies don't play that. You know, but it was going down like that. Um, and that was one time one was able to wiggle past my eyes. Now, there's been several occasions where Baltas have been on the Yarda. And like I said, you think because it's a GP or an active yard that everyone on there is solid as a rock. Well, let me tell you, there's different group factions that don't check paperwork quite as extensively as the North and South. Now, I'm not here to wolf on the Gavas or the Whites because I'm sure they do their thing. Or the Africanos, I'm sure they do their thing. People have different vetting systems and different, different vetting processes. And some things in our eyes that we don't see fit is not what other organizations see fit. You know, so good. they're allowed to do things that we can't. We're allowed to do things that they can't. Well, actually, Northern are not allowed to do shit. But, you know, you feel me. Um, but there was a Volta there. Um, he was from 18. You know, I'm not going to say his name. And I've told the story before. Um, he walked that yard out for, uh, for 10 years with two of his crime partners. Eventually, his filth surfaced, as they all do. And he got booked. He got found out. He got caught. He got caught slipping. The fools had to slip the clipping and get to spitting. It was over. Um, sa, 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 sped also time. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, that was it. Bye-bye. Bon voyage. We won't see you. Hasta la bye-bye. See you later. He was done. Did I have any any guilt or any remorse for seeing this happen? Charlie, when I heard the heinous fucking things that he had done in his crime and what had happened, so I was scared. Eat him again, I think, that first year. You know what I mean? Toma, puto. This is how I felt. And this is how a lot, of, a lot of other people felt. Now, there are some individuals that could care less. Hey, that's not my business. I don't care what the author did. Oh, you don't? Sauce. How is that your business? No, I guess it's my business now, right? Yeah. Trip out. As people, as normal citizens, or even convicts, because we're all the same at the end of the day, you know, we're all we're all humans. Um, that should not be condoned. And in prison, it definitely, definitely isn't. These vatos do not hit the linea like that. Like I said, vatos slide through the cracks sometimes. You know what I mean by the crack of that? You ever seen soap run down the crack of the mat? No, I never done none of that. You know you haven't. No, I, I know I haven't. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if I thought I was in, I wasn't looking. I was, I was looking anyway. I had my lever two thousand. I was getting mine on. This is how it goes. 
in prison. Okay? People that catch these type of crimes are not going to walk a GP mainline yard. And they shouldn't. Period. They shouldn't be walking earth. But, you know, we can't win them all. Um, you know, it's a 50-50 world. You know, 50, give, give some, take some. You know? But they are. And there's a lot of people that do it. Now, I did time out of state. And, e pobrecy for me. That's, yeah, I feel, what about me, Pac-Man? What about me, Danny, man? I feel bad. And I'm going to tell you why I feel bad. Because these yards were infested with weird offenders. Okay? There was nothing I could do. That guy took flight all the time, all the fucking time. Eventually, they started to figure out that a lot of autos from Califas were going out of state and arriving. And they just got tired of doing write-ups. And they got tired of cleaning up sangre. So, eventually, they put us all on different buildings where we were good. You know, we segregated ourselves from them. Sasuke, by force. Sometimes we handled business and to the point of no return. So, they said, Sasuke, you guys got hella points. They can't return. And that was it. Um, but for a long time, you know, we had to walk the yardas amongst this vermin. And uh, these ratas and this fucking filth. And we got off. We got off every time we found out something. And let me tell you a story about another one. It's crazy, bro. I'll never forget. So I'm still mad. But if you're watching this, verga. You know what I mean? I'm still upset. There was a vato. He came in. He was a Norteño sympathizer. You got to understand, I was out of state. There was only a few of us. So anyone that was a sympathizer to us, we embraced him. It was all good. I remember seeing his paperwork. He was in on a gun charge. Okay, but that wasn't the, all the pages of the paperwork. But me, like the baboso that I was at that point in time, I didn't know to fucking vet a little bit deeper. I seen he was in on gun charges. Cool. Okay, you like to carry Glock? So do I. Oh, my. There, we got something in common. And we ended up becoming real cool. We became real cool. Uh, played basketball together. Worked out. And uh, he wasn't my taita, my ace deuce, my ace boon coon, nothing like that. But at the same time, he was a good, righteous dude. You know, I felt at that time. Now I know he was nothing other than fucking gum on the bottom of my shoe. Homes that sticks that you don't like. So I was getting fucking ruined my Jordan. That's what he really is. Um, But we're kicking back. And there was fucking things that should have alerted me. And I'm going to tell you about him. It was a trip. Oh, it, it's true stories, though. It's facts. So men of out there cool, and I remember he used to get letras all the time, all mayo all the time, and I ain't gonna lie, at that time I wasn't really writing no highness, I wasn't really writing too much familia, every once in a while I'd write my jefita, write my canala, whatever, and get a little letter here, a little picture there, a little feria, um, but for the most part, I wasn't writing, you know, any females like that, like I said in spills before, I like to distance myself from them, because I don't want to fucking get catch feelings, and so I was like, hey, who's over there, Pedro, Pedro who, Pedro de Pacas, I know that name. You know you don't. You know he, You might know him, but he don't know you. But he knows me. You know what I mean? Uh-uh. I don't want to get into that. But I felt that if for no other reason at this time, maybe I should start writing someone. So I told the homeboy, hey, your chick that you write all the time, does she got a homegirl? And palabra. I'm about to put my palabra on it. These are facts. I get, I write this chick. Oh, yeah, her name's Melanie. Oh, what's up, Melanie? You know what I mean? So I was like, what's up? You know, I felt that for no other reason I should construct this notation to let it be known on that side of the fence that hopefully, you know what I mean, you get the briefness and the beautifulness of this beautiful little letter. I was trying to spit game. I was trying to sound all high power and shit. I was using that Khalifa style. Um, and I get a letter back and it's written in crayon, but the <laughs> It's written on crayon and says, hey, what's your name? Bitch, you can't read the envelope, right? And it's just the wordplay and the way it was written and scribbled was either a fucking tweaker you know, or someone of a young age. So what I did was I ceased to all contact and I told the homeboy, man, what's up with this? He was like, oh, I don't know. That's her homegirl, okay? Well, <clears throat> quietly as it's kept. Okay, yeah, it was her homegirl. No doubt about it. True story. Little did I know the one he was writing was only 14, 15 years old. Bang, bang, right? So uh, I can't call her like an alcoholic, but this is what I do know. Um, we didn't know this at the time. So we go to the yard that one day. And there's an Africano there. And he's playing basketball with this Africano. And they start fucking bickering back and forth, you know. And uh, they start to push each other. And now in this place where we're at, it isn't a one jump, all jump state unless something really goes down. It's basically if you got problems with someone, go in the blinas and handle it. More like how it was in the California Youth Authority. Now over there, we'll kill you. But, you know what I mean? This was different. <clears throat> so this Vato, they decide to go into the fucking corner to handle business. So I'm right there, the homeboy watching out. There's some Africanos right there watching out. It's none of really our business, but of course we're going to be there for our people. And uh, this about is getting molly whopped. The Africano, the young Africano is, is hitting him with the tiger, tiger, tiger. Get over here, right? He's putting tip, tippy toes and fingertips all over this guy. And I'm starting to feel some type of way because he's my homeboy and he's getting beat up. And I feel I can feel the hairs on the back of my neck go up and I'm feeling embarrassed, right? Because he's getting, he's getting worked over pretty good. 
Um, it was like Khabib Nurmagomedov fighting Pee Wee Herman. It just wasn't right, you know? One's over here trying to jack off in the theater while the other was trying to fucking choke someone's head off. This is what it looked like. So they're handling business, getting off, and uh, this other Afrikaner, he's kind of, uh, he's about my age, maybe a couple years older. He starts woofing. Yeah, get that fool. Get that Mexican. Get that this. Get that that. And I started to get upset, highly upset, because I felt now it, was, it became a racial thing. I felt it became a fucking uh, our lives don't matter type thing, right? And I told him, hey, what's up with you? And he was like, what's up? He tried to get all high power, and I hit him with the four-piece extra crispy, a side order of ranch with some fucking papas that got a little bit of spice on them. Sauce! I gave him the business, right? No! He was doing the tiger backup cut, right? And he started to back up, and I grabbed the phone. Sauce! 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 Reaching out and touching someone. And, of course, the placas came running. They seen it. Yard down. Everyone's going to the oil. Okay, we get into the oil, and there's a homeboy there, Capone. So I start cracking, popping it off with the, what's up, homeboy? Shoot your linea. He, I shoot my linea. He's like, hey, who you in here with? Oh, I'm in here with that fucking, the homeboy. Woo -woo. He's up there in a different block. He was like, hey, bro, trip out on this. And he shoots me paperwork, and there he is like this. Another one. Another one. And it was at that point in time, I had to really sit down and look in the mirror and contemplate, am I a bad judge of character, right? It wasn't that, man. It's these guys are able to fly under the radar. And uh, yeah, he was in on some nine years old and younger, okay? I was highly upset. First of all, I'm in the oil. If I would have known that, I'd, I would have been with the Africano. Talk about fucking follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road, right? I would have been getting my issue too. But at the same time, I was like, fuck, bro. Look at this dude. This dude was able to pull the fucking wool over my eyes. Like, I'm a wolf, vato. Oh, you know what I mean? And this vato was able to pull the wool over my eyes. He was a lamb. You know what I mean? I would have silenced that lamb if I would have known what was up. And I felt bad to this day. I'm still mad. This guy got played like Monopoly. You know what I mean? I was, but shit, I didn't even get to go to war. Why? What the? It was all bad. Didn't collect 200. Didn't pass go. Just went straight to jail. It was ugly. So there I did my tiempo in the oil. I apologized to the Africano, you know, because I felt that for no re other reason I should, because righteously what he was saying was true. Beat that motherfucker's ass, right? Um, the Mexican part, no, of course not. It's brown and proud. But the other shit, yeah. Um, and then I never fucking conversated with this guy. Mysteriously, he ended up going to another institution all of a sudden. And it was what it was. Um, but monsters. You know, it all comes back to monsters. That's what I call them. These people that do these bad crimes that end up in places they shouldn't be. Okay, well, what they shouldn't be is alive. But, you know, the, I mean, only God can judge them. You know, so shit happens. Anyways, at the end of the day, you need to watch out. And that's what happens. Putos, if you're watching this, when you hit the yarda, sas, in that fashion, I hope it happens. You know what I mean? If it happens, it happens. Anyways, I hope that you move fast with a purpose. I hope that you get everything that you want coming to you. I hope that you hustle, man. Hustling is going out there and getting it for your familia. Getting it for the raza. Getting it for the gente, the people. We're all people here, you know. Please like and subscribe. If you don't like this, if you think I'm a baboso and I ain't funny, it's cool. Hit the thumbs down. If you think I'm for the bato, got me busted. No, I got my thumb in. I got the bubble guts. Hit that like one time for your mind. Subscribe. Show love. Remember, I got the membership popping off. If you want to jump in, I drop exclusive spills, exclusive sneak peeks, exclusive pictures. Motherfucker, I'm exclusive. Bang, bang. The gun. Fucking monsters, man. I can't believe they got me like that.